another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. We're now in week 17, only two more weeks to go in this regular season, then the fourth season in this franchise series will be completed. We're going to be playing the Patriots again. We just played them two weeks ago and uh, we managed to beat them. It was a very tight game. We beat them really with a final pass. Take a look at that game. That was just really crazy, but we pulled it off. That was fantastic. This time we're in the away team, and that is always way more difficult with the momentum and everything working against you. We managed to get the best out of this game against the Jets. Super happy about that. But this one here, this will be very difficult and a very different in my opinion as well. Um, there's two more games to go. I would really love to win both of them, quite obviously, but we will have to really do our best to, to, to pull something off here. Let's take a look at the player picture and we are still the third seed and that is actually no big surprise. I doubt we will be even getting past uh, the Jags uh, to get the, the second spot. No chance that we're getting past the Chiefs. Uh, we did get a weekly award. Let's take a look who got that. It was Greg Rousseau. Four tackles, three sacks. Awesome guy. Left edge. What a freaking beast. Clyde edwards alaire Eight carries, 101 rushing yards. That is looking nice. CJ Stroud, 26-31, 323 passing yards, five passing touchdowns, three sacks, four carries. Yeesh. Absolute beast of a quarterback. Right there. Uh, players ready to negotiate. Nothing new. Karim, still not up for discussion. So, can't do anything there. Uh, what else is there to take care of? Actually, not much. We'll just be taking a look at the Pats roster, just going over it quickly to see if there's any injuries. All right, we just looked at the roster, so I will only be going through this to see if there's any injury, uh, any injuries that are worthy of taking note. Um, I hardly doubt that, oh, this is something. David Andrews, starting center, is injured. So we're gonna have Daniel Cooper here, unless they drag in someone else from the, from the offensive line. What about defense? That is always more interesting for me. They were very tough to play against, really. We hardly got going. They really came around the edges. That is an injury for Joey Porter. So we're going to have James Bradbury and Shadobi Owuzi. That is a slight respite. But to be honest, the Sierra Adderley was so nasty. Yeah, nothing really noteworthy. Nothing that will change the course of the game drastically. So let's go here. We are going to go and we're going to defend the short pass. That has been our thing this season and we've really, really had a good time doing that. We're going to be going with splits and half pads for everyone because everybody's super tired. Let's run the ball inside. And the same thing here. Jesus Christ, we are really, really seeing tired players. Everybody's splitting right guard. Ah, because Mooty is injured. All right, so we're going to go, be going with a split here as well. I don't want all the pressure on Carmen. So let's go with this. Let's see if we can't reduce fatigue a little bit. Still no upgrade for Gerald McCutcheon. Still no upgrade for Brad Wheeler. Can't wait to see those. We're going to sack the QB five times. We're going to be aggressive. 24 points or less. We're going to get 250 yards. And we're going to get 15 first downs. Training results for defense are in only a little bit of a, def of a fatigue reduction, as we can see. No injuries, though. That is the most important thing. Still slight reductions here, but nothing really noteworthy. Minus two is not that big of a deal, to be honest. Uh, Nathaniel Wooty did get a, a red plus here, but he's injured anyways. So who cares, right? Uh, I will be looking at the fatigue levels right now because I have the nasty feeling that Bijan might be a little bit tired. Where is it? Here, health. All right, fatigue. Player is slightly fatigued, which may impact performance in game to increase fatigue levels. Color player health screen weekly. Uh, practicing. All right. Okay, no injury determines how long a player can play at their max potential. That's 93 currently. Uh, fatigue is slightly downwards, so we might have to be switching him out at a later date again. For the moment, I think we're going to be starting the game 
uh, after we upgrade the players, of course, I almost forgot about that. Jesus Christ. So now Asuil will get an upgrade. I'm gonna put this into Speed Rusher. Obviously, wanna get him as good as we can in that category. Johnny Gunter, back up, running back. 76 rated, 24 years old, out of Alabama. And Bo Collins, wide receiver. Finally getting some more again. We're gonna put that into Slot. Just see some upgrades here. Awareness, carry, catch and traffic and short route. Okay, that was good. That was very helpful. 33, we're not gonna spend the, the staff points now. We're gonna head straight into the game. And uh, let's try and repeat our win that we had against the Patriots. Here we go, Gillette Stadium. New England Patriots home and the Dolphins are going to be playing as the away team. The Patriots with their home uniforms, almost 4,000 yards this season for Mac Jones. Talia, I'm going to have to check that. Of course, he's not going to have as many because we're not playing as pass heavy as other teams are. We're going to be using these away uniforms here. The Jets on the flyover. And uh, we are out first since we're the guests. You can see the breath, so it's going to be a cold day. And here come the Patriots in their home uniforms in the dark blue silver helmets. Actually, a very clean look. All right. Ready. All right. Patriots on the board straight away. Momentum already stacked against us. Let's see. Stuffed. Home team has an increased chance to block kicks. Home team gains more momentum. All right. Players run slightly faster. Okay. All right. So we got going slightly. Three yards here. 125 last week. But we had to take him out of the game. 2,000 rushing yards. I think that says it all. Bijan Robinson. The most important player on our squad. And off we go. Oh my god. Third and seven. Let's go. The southeast corner. The coverage is pretty tight. Inside zone is what we're going to be going for. And that is going to be the first down. Josh Uchi does pick up an injury here now in game. And we've got a lot of go paths go. Here we go. Josh Uchi out of the field. Fourth and one. Why would we punt? Why ever would we punt? We're going to go the halfback ISO. Left hand side rush here. It's one yard. We have to be prepared to really. Good God, man. I mean, we did step over the line. Then we've just been shoved back 10 miles. Wait, what? Oh, guys. <laughs> All right. Silly me. I thought we, we managed to get over the line. All right. All right. We are going to have to dig deep now. Stiff arm here. Second and one. Injury timeout. Oh no, not Jalen. That's a hefty price, man, to pay right now. Still coming into the squad area as the backup. And Bijan, I can tell he's fired up. Did you see that stiff arm that he brought in? Jesus, man. We're going to bring in Collins, of course. Don't want to risk an injury here. Cam Steele is going to be the player there. Tight end corner. Michael Mayer or Bo Collins. Yeah, that's just cheaply. Just smacking it away. All right, inside zone. Slight curve. Uh, would have loved the turn here. Third and three. Couldn't get that turn done. Verticals wide rack. Let's set up inside zone. Bam! What a hit by Jones here. 
Again, that is the way that Bijan is paving here. And quite clearly, the Patriots want to have payback for that last second loss that they suffered last time. One minute 11 in the first quarter. Still to be played. Everybody looking fit. Let's go to the tight end corner again. Off we go. There we go, Michael Mayer. And a shove here, and we're in. We are in. That is what I call quick, quick reconciliation. Here we go, Michael Mayer. He's going to open out the safe, dragging out the money. Here's the bag over the shoulder. And off we go. All right, happy about that audible, to be honest. Avoiding that first tackle was key. Let's hold them. All right, we do just that. We're going to start at the 20 again. Halfback dive. I don't want to lose any more points here. I don't want to give up any more seeding space here. Oh, man. No, 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 no. 55. I think that's Josh Uchi, so he seems to be back again. Let's go. Beautiful stiff arm. A beautiful stiff arm here by Bo Collins. And left hand side run with Bijan Robinson here. Gonna go straight through the middle. Oh, that was a slowdown. That was a slowdown. Without that, we would have been clean through. Jesus, man. There we go. Sadly, sadly we stumbled. Because that would have been brilliant. 3 minutes 40 in the second quarter. A lot of tight setup there. Tell you what, we're going to try this one. Second and 10. We didn't get it. Oh, that sucks. That does suck a little bit. Let's try this one here. Oh, good God. Jesus, what was that? That was almost like a grenade launcher. This is Chase. Oh, but it was just ghastly throw. And that was that was not good. All right, Bijan, let's go. Fourth and one. Had to turn back inside. There's a hit on Tolly yet. Outside was closing down, and that was Nasir Adderley. Halfback dive is what we're going to be doing here. Left hand side run. Can we get that that first down? Yes, we do. All right, a lot of trucking. Roshan Amos for the New England Patriots. Number 98 was that? Inside zone split. Right hand side. Oh my god, number 23, this time he gets it. Second and one, we're going to run into the left hand side. I don't think that they're going to see this one coming. Or the middle, because that is just way open. Drag back number 23, man, who is that? Inside zone. And we're not going to get the ball away before the two minute warning. But here we go, slip screen. This is uh, what we're going to be going for. Left-hand side run with Bijan. Smacked away. Well, that was a rather, rather unimaginative screen, I would say. Do I go for another one?
Oh my god. Josh Uchi just drags Bijan back. Yes, I am intent on getting one of these working now. Uh, can we please have an offensive penalty? At third and 10, I would really like a third and 20. Yes, thank you. Austin Jackson, there we go. He has cost us so many penalties. Third and freaking 20, man. Guys, are you absolutely kidding me? Are you trying to kill me here? Man, that is annoying. That is freaking annoying, man. Bo Collins, savior of the day, I would say. Not Xavier Howard, savior of the day. Great stuff. The Clemson Tiger is so good if he gets a chance. Really happy that I picked him. I was very much on the fence about that. Here we go, here we go. There we go. Another screen. Why you ask? Well, mostly because those have been working so well. Didn't I say it? I mean, I'm not sure what we're thinking here, but... Ready. A very, very uh, underwhelming, I would say. Third and goal, yeah. I saw that that was not going to be that that was not going to be inbounds and that he sort of stepped outside. Oof, these are all complicated, man. Hmm. I don't have that long to decide. Hmm. Not too crazy about that, but Michael Mayer, maybe. All right. Just had to play very quickly. But we got it done. We got it done. There we go. Little dance by the man himself. In my opinion, Michael Mayer is uh, being touted to go to the Dolphins uh, because Kasiki might not get a new deal. And in my opinion, that would be brilliant, man. The Miami Dolphins come on defense. Defense holds them. Or rather, doesn't hold them, but we restart here. After getting the extra point. What are we going to do? Oh, good shove there. Second and four. A little bit of a high throw from Talia, but Bijan had to jump. That meant he, he was going to lose time. Chase Waddle call it right. So Waddle is back. No major injury. And we do push forward here against this rock solid defense that the Patriots are lining up here. Let's go with the bench. See if we can get a bench going. Smacked away here. That is cheap, man. All right. Let's try this one here. It is a halfback slam, so rather, rather brutal situation here, just slamming into the opposing team. Bo Collins looks like a very nice receiver here. Oh, that's a stiff arm, fourth and two. Christian Barmore 
And yeah. We're gonna go the dive. Certainly with the dive. Oh my god, what if please no offensive penalty. Oh. Well that is that is okay. We're gonna take that. Roshana Amos again an injury. Didn't he just injure himself or was that the last game? I don't remember. These Patriots games are too close together, man. Well that was well that was an easy stop here by Josh Uche. He just had the complete left hand side open. Slip screen. It is time for another slip screen. There we go. All right. User stiff arm and getting up to the 20 yard line. That was a very nice screen. I mean, I don't know what number 63 was doing there, but that was a nice shove. Getting some space here for Bijan. And then really break it through here. Both left players, players on the left, really setting up very tightly there. Second and five. Yes, second and five. That is good. 45 quick base. Left hand side run. We're going to go with this one. Blockage, please. Get a block, get a block. All right. Third and one. Half back dive. Straight forward run we're gonna run straight into that player no there number 99 uh, shove shove and we only get to the two yard line we're being held couldn't get into the end zone but the direction was there man the direction was there we almost got in there the Patriots really having to do a lot to stop Bijan here The quarterback on the right whispering in the coach's ear. Put me in, I'm better than Mac Jones. At least that's what I'm imagining what he's going to say. All right, so this uh, was quite definitely not the way to go. Second and goal. Halfback dive not happening. Let's try this again. A little bit more space maybe for the run here. Down the middle. Oh my lord. And really a lot of pressure. Left, right, center. And in a bundle of players, Bijan Robinson does get into the end zone. And we turn the game around. 0-14 is now 21-14. I fully expect Mac Jones to drag back another touchdown. And that was just a jumble of flailing arms, legs bodies and heads come on guys yeah that's what i expected uh he was just, he was always gonna get one back Here we go. Here we go. and it's 21 21 four minutes to go we get nasir Adderley down but taken down as well Off we go. Left hand side. Yeah, don't ask me. Well, that was sort of running into my own players there. Inside zone, left hand side again. We're going to get this. We're going to get this first down here. There we go. We're going to get the first down and then some. Three minutes, 13. There is no need to start playing crazy now. No need. Oh my god. Oh my lord. And we re. Oh. Jesus. Is all I'm going to say. So we go in here. I need to zoom. Uh, sorry, uh, these controls are abominable, but we're going to do my best to show you what happened. All right. So here is the ball. And then we go down. I have to go out a little bit. Let's turn the camera over here. And the ball does come out. But. All right, so he let go of the ball, and then we just grabbed it again. 
Interesting. Third and four. Let's set up a bench. But we're going to go with the quick base. Shove backwards here. Two minutes, six seconds, injury timeout. Trey Hendrickson is injured. Half back slam. This is what we're going to be going for. Three, two, one, off we go. Oh, come on. We're not even going to get past the line of scrimmage here. Second and ten. Two minute warning is in. Basically, the plan is let's just keep pounding. Do I go with a stick switch? Or do I do something like this? I feel like the answer is no. Weird third and five here. I really like those inside zones. That slightly curved run up is quite a difference maker most of the time. Shove back here, one minute 33. And we will not be rushing things. We will not be rushing things. Here we go, half back lead. Right. Half back lead is what I want to see. Ready? There we go. Exactly what I was going for. Jared Patterson injury. <laughs> this really is a hard game. Clock is stopped at 1 minute and 4. We now have Tyler Shatley in the center, and I'm not sure if I want to have that. Let us correct some things here. All right, we've got Austin Jackson, no faith in him. Sorry, dude. We've got Tyler Smith, Giant Patterson is injured. So I will be putting Kendrick Green here. I will be putting Tyler Smith here. I've got Jackson Carmen here. And I've got Peter Skoronsky here. The offensive line taking a few hits right now. Oh my God, that was... That was actually a very good tackle. That was actually a very good tackle. Sixty-seven. And we are in. We are in. Maybe a little bit too soon. I would have liked to waste a little bit more time. Fifty-six seconds. And Mac Jones. You never know. That's what I meant. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. And this is a typical Patriots game. A typical Patriots game, man. It always goes like this. Whenever you say, well, this is the game that's in the bag. Then it doesn't happen. Tyler Bass, I doubt you'll be getting a chance to kick. To be honest, I doubt you'll be getting a chance because we are, we're very far away. Can I please have... Let's go with this one. I'll, maybe I'll try and get DJ Johnson. Wow. Wow, what a bad throw. The game is over. The game is over and we're going to be going into overtime. Mac Jones must have been insane. So, well, thank you for nothing. And now come on defense. We're going to defend the right-hand side. Are we going to get a chance to do something here? Or is Mac Jones going to take our butts and do nasty stuff? There we go. Ball is underway. Jack Fox. The long kick. Out of bounds. Going to start at the 25. Don't care too much about that. 
Hold them. Ooh, and they hold them. Wow. All right. One minute fifty-two. Off we go, Bijan. Second and five. Half back slam. Next one. Left hand side. One minute thirty-three. We need to get into field goal range. I'm not interested in uh, in getting the field goal. Uh, in getting a tie. That's that's what I'm interested. In. One minute and eleven. Wow. There we go. Bijan, 200 yards on the day. Two touchdowns. All right, who's going to discuss if he's the best running back ever or not? Is there anybody who want to bring forth an argument? Oh, Jamar Chase. It was a little bit unnecessary to run into him at that point, but... We're going to go the quick base. He is dead tired. I can see him breathing very hard. I don't want to risk... Don't want to risk an injury, but we just need to get forward. 23 yards. We're going to call the first timeout now. The first timeout is going to be called right now by us. Uh, I'm just sure that they're going to be calling a timeout to ice our kicker. Do something like that. Completely unnecessary, in my opinion, but we're going to go with this. With an Omaha R RPO. Yeah, well. Good on you, mate. Second and seven, 14 seconds. I feel like... Going for the, uh, for the field goal... 45 yards is probably the right thing to do, unless it's inaccurate. But the wind carries it in, and this is the win. Oh, guys, isn't that awesome? There we go. We are inside. And with that, we not only get the field goal, we also get the win in overtime. Ah, there we go. That's Karim. What's up, Karim? Appreciate you being there. The offensive line players really stepped up, especially the the backup players like Jackson Carmen, Kendrick Green. Really, really stepping it up against a very tough offense here. Mac Lee. Jones, obviously with a higher rating, three touchdowns for him, 317 yards. Talia, not as many. Also, completion rate, 80%. Jesus Christ. Versus 55. Now that is what I call production. But on the other hand, take a look at Bijan here. 220 yards. Great stuff. 41 attempts. Two touchdowns. One fumble. Yes, but he recovered that quickly. So we're not even going to count that. That is more than the full combination of all of the Patriots. On the passing side, things are a little bit different. Tyler Boyd and Xavier Worthy absolutely dominating here. Michael Mayer, two touchdowns, great stuff. Bo Collins, Bijan Robinson getting in on the mix here. Really, really great production. And we came back from behind as well. Tackle leader Nasir Adderley, like last time. Orafio Way, Brad Wheeler, both got tackles for loss. One sack by Jimmy Ward and zero interceptions. All right, guys. We are 11 and 5. We are really nearing the end of the season here. The AFC East topping very, very easily. All right. That is a very good result. The thing that I'm interested in is how this will change um, in comparison to the Bears game. Um, the Lions already finished all of their games, I feel like, for the moment 13 and 2, 12 and 3. They've overtaken the Chiefs. Uh, the Jags and the Titans are still tied 11 and 4. We are 11 and 5. So I feel like they should be playing another game as well. Um, same goes for the Bears. They're also needing uh, one more game. The Lions, the Chiefs. Yeah, I, everybody needs to play one more game. Maybe we're the first to play here. 
Uh, we'll see how that works out next week. Can't really wait to get going into our final game against the Buccaneers away. Today's game was great as well. We really fought back hard. We were behind, but we didn't drop off. We did drop off, we fought back, we came back into the game, we made it into overtime, and then we won the game in overtime with a field goal, but all right, don't, don't really care about where the points come from as long as we get the win. That was really fantastic, really enjoyed this one a lot, hope you did as well. Please drop me a like and subscribe if you did, that means a lot to me. And as always, thank you so much for being here, see you next time.